Okay, so to create a blog post, um, you're going to go to the post area. Okay, pages are kind of what makes up the website, but posts are within the blog itself. So uh, I'm just going to go to all blog, all posts because what I've done is uh, I've created these two for you already, and um, you can go in and edit those. But the the best way to to kind of do this is just to clone one because it's already formatted the way uh, it should show up in the blog so the best thing to do is just to clone and then go in and rip out the content and then put your own content in so I'm going to show you how to do that real quick so I'm just going to clone this real quick so cloning is just going to make a copy of that post now as soon as you publish this right now it's in draft as soon as you publish this then it's going to show up in the blog post area okay so make sure you you get it right before you you publish it. I'll show you how to do that here in a second. But so let's say we want to change this. So I'm just going to go to edit. It might take a moment. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. If we take a look at how this is built. Um, take a minute um, this is the top area you don't want to mess with this okay so that's the top area with the navigation okay so really the post begins here in this container right here so it's just a square containing the content all right so I'm gonna this is the content from that other post so I'm just gonna go edit this uh, so you can see it's from the other post and I I have a word document here um, and this is how I would do it um, because it's the best way to uh, actually uh, format your, your text is to kind of uh, just do it in Word. That way you can check uh, formatting and all that. Um, so I'm just going to take part of this. I'm not going to do all of it, but I'm just going to take that part and copy it and then go back to here and paste. You can see a lot of formatting came over, which is nice. Um, you can see that we have different formatting, just kind of like Word. Um, heading 1 is going to be really large. Um, I would probably use Heading 3 for most of these subheads. Um, just depends on how you have them formatted in your Word document. But uh, I think the, how I have them set up is the subheads are Heading 3 and the rest is just standard paragraph. But, you can kind of play with that and actually have other settings here like color and alignment. Um, just got to click that box there. So um, let's say you wanted to add an image within the post. Um, it's just kind of, you know, a lot like Word. You just kind of find the area, hit enter till you find where you want the image to go. And then I'm just going to add, add a photo. Let me go back real quick so you can kind of see what I'm doing there. Um, so I'm going to select a file. So I uh, haven't really downloaded one for you particularly, but we'll find something. I'm sure I have something in here in your site that we can use. So let me find something like that. I'll just use your image. And right now uh, I'm just going to upload that. So basically I'm just uploading a file. And... Once I insert it into the post, it's going to insert it where I actually uh, have it. You can choose a size here that you want to be in your post. So I'm just going to insert that. Okay, so it inserts the image there. And you can actually click it and align it so that you can have text run around it. I don't recommend that because it does some weird things, but I would just put it in line like that. And I'm going to save that. So just make sure everything's formatted the way you want it. You know, you can can bold and you can italicize and so um, just go in and format it the way you want it just like Word and then hit save okay so we have the text with the image in it this is the main image that shows up at the top as the feature image so we're going to remove that okay now I'm going to upsplash.com these are free images and I'm just typing retirement 
just to find an image for your blog post. And uh, I'm going to hit enter. And let's just use, kind of look through them. I'm just going to use this one. So I'm just going to download, and you download these for free. So you always want to save them in a spot you can find them. So I have a separate folder for images. And I'll just save this as whatever that is, or you can rename it, call it blog post or whatever you need to want to call it, hit save. So that's upsplash.com, right? So we want to upload that to the feature image, so I'm going to do that right now. Um, so here's all the images that are currently in your website, but don't delete any of those because those are actually in there. So I'm going to upload a file. Go to images. Find these are, again, all these are in your website. And then I'll hit open. Now I've set the image to specific size. So whatever size this is doesn't really matter. So um, try to find, you know, uh, good resolution images. Uh, images that are professional quality set comes in as the this will be the uh, featured image um, if you need to crop it you can uh, do that before you import it so I'll just hit publish Okay, once you hit publish, then it becomes part of the blog. Now, one of the things you might want to do is change the title. So let's call it new blog post. Um, that's kind of important because you'll see that it'll change here. Um, so I would go ahead and change this. Uh, it will randomly change it itself. So you might want to change that. Um, let's go blog post. Or actually, let's call it new blog post and this is the going to be the uh, address for that and you really need to name it whatever it is because that's best for SEO I'll click OK on that so that will be the the link that will show up up in the bar here so I'm going to update that And I'm going to view the post. Okay, so you'll see the image shows up here, the main image. I've had that specified to a specific size. Here's all the content. And if you didn't like anything, then you can go right back here to edit that post. So let's go back there. You can go back in and edit it. Let's say you wanted something bold. It's not showing up bold. So you can just go in and hit bold. And it'll tell you it's bold there. Hit save. I'm going to update. View post. So you can view and edit from that button right there. Okay, let's take a look. There it is, bold. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that works uh, for the blog post. Now let me just kind of show you how that works because I'm going to have to delete it because that's not really a blog post. But if we go look at your blog, you can see that that's the last one we added right there. So as you add them, they'll, the newer ones will start showing up and pushing these over and pushing them down. So. Um, so let me go back. I'm going to go back. Anytime you want to go back to the admin, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll duplicate that tab and then go back to the admin by clicking that button. And then we want to go to all posts again. And we want to delete that. So I'm just going to move it to the trash. And you can go back in and restore it if you want, but that wasn't a real accurate blog post. So those are the two that should be in there now. 
Um, if we go back and do a refresh, there you go. So that's how you do a blog post. Uh, I would recommend you get in and kind of play with it and um, see what you can do with that.